it's Sandy Parker and welcome to crafting for almost everyone my great niece is graduating from high school and she's going on to nursing school and so I thought this little house mouse stamp of one of the mice being a nurse to the other was a great idea for her card and so I'm going to use some alcohol inks and these are mostly spectrum noirs um, the numbers are TN1 TN3, IG2, IG3, BG3, CR1, CR5, and then some Sharpies, a silver and a red, and then a white gel pen if I need it. And um, I thought what I would do is color my mouse in this IG2, which is a lighter gray. <laughs> I would use my touch markers instead and I'm going to use this is uh, WG 1, 4, and 6 so I thought I'd go in with the lightest color first <laughs> the background color goes. I don't think I'm going to do that until after I've cut it out because I don't know exactly how this is going to look. So let me cut it out. I'm going to use this die. Then um, I have a stack of this mat um, that I was thinking maybe I could find something that matches all right, well, let me look at my colors, and I will be back. I think I'm going to do my background in, it's called Flesh number 139, and I thought it would look nice because, um, I'm going to put that on the front, uh, because I'm going to put it on this color, and then that's going to go onto this color. So hopefully it all will work well together. That's my plan anyway. put a tail 
gel in. And then I'm pretty much done with this part. I just need to put the um, background in and I'm going to put a um, ribbon behind it. I think that'll look cute. And I'm going to cut this out with this die. So let me cut that out and I'll be right back. So let me get all this out of the way. And okay, so we're going to put some foam tape. I know. Don't start crying yet. It's coming though. Here it comes, the foam tape. It's so horrible. I just can't even can't even deal with it. Now do I want to put that on first? No, I think I wanna I think I'm going to attach this to my image first. I'm going to use some regular tear tape on that because that alcohol ink is going to come through the back and really make it hard for anything to stick. Alright, so now my goal is to, I guess, goes this way. Man, I wish I could do this the other way. Let's see if I can. Our goal here is just to make enough of a difference. That looks about right. That you can see that there's, you know, a little bit of variation between the top and the oop, the underneath. Oh, I'm stuck to it. All right, now when you do this, when, when you cut the bottom piece in half, if you end up having, like on this side, I have some seam that's a little iffy. I'm just going to cut a little bit of it out like that so that you can only see part of it. Because that's the only place on the card where you have a weird a weird spot. So I'm going to straighten that up. Then I'll just stick it down in there like that. Should be long enough to do something with. If it's not, then we'll go with plan B and get another piece. Right? Sure. Let's see. I really like this kind of ribbon. If you ever have trouble making bows. Get this uh, taffeta kind of ribbon. I'm telling you, it makes it so much easier to make bows. The bow is good. Then I have to decide what I want to do with this. Maybe I want to put it right there, because don't forget, we still have to put this somewhere. Maybe I'll move it over here and put this right there. Looks like a plan. Okay. Get that out of there. Here it is. Everybody's favorite part of my videos. Crazy foam. I'm going to be great when I'm out of this stuff. Oh, I'll be so happy. And then in the inside, I've already stamped... Um, Congratulations, Grad. So proud of you. And then I want to put this piece. Let's see. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then this piece. I think I'm going to put that with double layers of this little foam pieces. I'm just going to double them up on the one side. Okay, this is the side I need to have two on it. There's that. It's 
it's even straight. Okay, so now we need to do is our envelope, and we're all set. I'm going to color this with the flesh color. Now I have to do is make my envelope and we're all set. Okay, I'm going to decorate my envelope with little stars. And I'm using a water marker to do that. Water based. And this water marker is the same color as the um, paper called Primrose Petals. It is uh, sta uh, from Stampin' Up. And then as for the front, I think I'm just gonna do a little bit of um, washi tape on this one. Last but not least, we'll do a little bit of washi tape across the bottom and around the back. There's that. And we'll cut the edge. So, here is our card and our envelope. I hope you enjoyed this and that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Please tell one of your friends about me on social media because I love that. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.